Hello and welcome. We just got our hands on GTA 5, it just unlocked through Steam and the first video will just be going through the settings. I know all of you PC Master Race people would like to see just what you can adjust in the game. And I'm having to inform you that you can adjust everything. So let's get to it. <coughs> Of course you can play with the gamepad and keyboard, you can adjust the settings and the audio, just the volume, the music, the radio station, the self radio mode, you can just use your own music if you want to. Um, but let's get to the graphics, that is what you want to see anyway. So I'm running the DirectX 11 version, my video memory is usage is 2.8 gigabytes out of 12. I just got my hands on a Titan X card. It has 12 gigabytes so that is overkill for this game but it's always nice to have more. <coughs> so screen type, resolution, you can play it at 4K if you want to but I don't have a 4K monitor just yet sadly so I'm at 180. The aspect ratio, the refresh rate, so down here anti-aliasing. You got three different options. You got FXAA. I've turned that off just at the moment. I don't really like FXAA. Down here you have MSAA. You can go down to 2 and up to 8. MSAA is kind of taxing on the system but it really does make the game look nicer. Underneath here you have NVIDIA's TXAA. You can only use that if MSAA is between 2 and uh, just is 2 or 4. If you turn it off, TXAA turns off. If you go to 8, it turns off again. But I'll have it at 4 and TXAA on. The V-Sync is on just so that I don't get any tearing. Let's go down here. Now we got the population density, just how many people you see in the street. You can adjust the let's go down here or up how varied they are, the, the difference between the people and here how far away you will actually see people walking around on the street. Now these sliders here they don't affect performance as much as I would, uh, would have thought they did. In GTA 4 the population and the traffic density was a huge system hog but it doesn't seem to be that way in uh, GTA 5 and not from my experience my short experience, I've only played for about an hour. So down here you have the texture quality, of course it puts a huge draw on the system, turning it up and down. You got the shader quality here, shadow quality, and the reflection quality and just how well things are reflected. Water quality, particles quality, explosions, smoke and stuff, the grass quality. Now the grass looks really nice, especially when you get outside of uh, Los Santos. The shadows, you can adjust it here. If you got an AMD or Nvidia, you can use specific settings if you want to. Um, the post effects, motion blur. If you want motion blur, just crank it all the way up. If you don't, just turn it off. I usually has mine turned off because when you use the mouse, I want to see everything at all times. Uh, but when you're using a controller, you're turning s slowly, so motion blur can look better while using a controller, I think. But I'll, I'll leave mine off. Depth of field, anisotropic filtering up to 16, quite standard on PCs. Oh, go down again. Ambient occlusion, all the way up to high. You can adjust how it's done, just up to normal and high. And tessellation, um, I don't know how much tessellation this game has, I haven't seen a lot of it, but just crank up to very high doesn't performance. And I'll just apply it here, now we are back. So these are the normal options and for a two year old console port, it's nice to see that we can adjust everything in the game. There is 
some more options here though now advanced graphics options so long shadows I don't really know what they do actually uh, something about the shadows they don't seem to affect performance I can't seem to notice any difference in the game I'll leave it on just to be sure now high resolution shadows self-explanatory nicer shadows and a bump up in video memory 300 almost 400 but that is not a problem for me the high detail streaming while flying so you just get a nicer landscape while you're flying around extended distance scaling I would imagine this uh, is about how soon you'll be able to see things in the distance or how well they are drawn on the screen and the shadows uh, how far away you can see the shadows on the screen so the changes here so this are these are the graphics options so just like Grand Theft Auto 4 you can adjust uh, most things in the game that is really nice <coughs> so let's have a look in game just just how it looks and it actually looks really good so for this first video I'll just uh, show the options I will continue recording for the rest of the day just show you more in-game stuff so thank you for watching our first video and hopefully you'll be watching all our other stuff later bye